Hey, my ladies and gentlemen, I am Brutal, and welcome to Brutal Talks. And in this video, I'm going to talk about smartphones. And if you don't know what smartphones is, you've probably been asleep for five years. Um, smartphones is like computers, but really, really small. You can install programs on them, you can go on the internet with them, with the wireless internet, and you can do a shit ton of good stuff with them. Uh, as an example, I don't have to bring my PC to the bathroom when I want, when I want to wank. Uh, so I just bring my phone, and it's really handy, it's not heavy, and it's really, really good. Uh, but apart from the wank thing, um, the smartphones can have a really good you know, usage. I have my Samsung Note 2, and, you know, games is really awesome to have on them, and, uh, you know, other applications that, you know, make your life easier. Uh, I do have a heart rate app on it, and... I have some other, you know, games that I go out and play, like Ingress. Ingress is a great game. I do go out and play because you have to be outside to play it. The GPS and shit. <clears throat> but uh, there was uh, a program on TV uh, a few days ago about how smartphones and you know new technology has affected people's sleep habits, and uh, it was mainly about girls. Uh, it was boys too, but. They they were talking about how their phones and you know how their you know devices had affected how they sleep, and it also affects people's you know grades in school just because they have their phone on uh, before going to sleep, just just having on being on Instagram and just looking at pictures because they always come new pictures and you can just like them or comment on them, or just being on Facebook with your phone and check people's statuses like and post statuses, and the same goes with Twitter. But I can tell that this has also affected me quite a bit because uh, if you don't follow me on Twitter or don't didn't know I have a Twitter, I do spend a lot of time on Twitter and really addicted to uh, the whole concept and the, the site and all the people that's on there. And I do um, just sit and read tweets, uh, post sometimes, you know, at night. And it happened that I've been up for a long time. Uh, last time was two days ago uh, when I, w I was, you know, I was about to go to sleep and uh, I had a quite a bad day. So I opened, you know, Twitter on my phone and just, uh, I went in my bed and just scrolled. Uh, I just, you know, went back to sleep. I checked my phone. And I keep doing this until it was like 3 or 4, p 4 a.m., and I was supposed to get up at 8, so I didn't get any sleep. And that day I had my presentation, uh, the last day, almost the last day for, for school. So uh, <laughs> that actually affected uh, my presentation and how how it was. But, you know, let's go back to you know, the real topic. You know, smartphones are good for a lot of reasons, but it do also affect how people, uh, you know, are more attached to technology nowadays and... Uh, I think we all should go and read some books now because uh, we're all, I think we're all too attached to the technology we have acquired during these last five years. And uh, I think it's a good thing, but you know everything has its bad sides when it, you know used too much um, or are abused because we we humans are lazy. We want everything to be easy for us. Therefore, smartphones has done a lot of things for us that makes <laughs> made us even more lazy and. There is a lot of more stuff that are developing now, and uh, it, it's you know it, everything is in you know, a double-sided blade. Uh, it's good for some reasons, but are bad for some other. And I'm going to talk about this more in another video. Uh, I'll talk about Google Glass in another video. So you're going to hear about more what I think about Google Glass. Uh, but I'm going to take another video. Thanks for uh, listening. And I hope you like this series. And if you do, I will be really happy if you left a like or a comment discussing about how you feel about the smartphones. If you do have one or you don't have one yet, and why you don't have one, and all that shiz. And I hope you to tune in uh, tomorrow for the next episode of Brutal Talks, 7 p.m. GMD plus 1. Bye, guys.